streets far Remember when we made at the old prospector Blindfolded acid trips Your tiny fingertips Piano songs all time would tea stain from the wine Problems come in threes and we beat them down It's nothing when compared to the hangovers we've shared Cause rent's on time, we got six, it's cheap red wine Come on and share my table and pour your heart into mine Time can be so blunt till it's no fun But all in all, time's treated us fine Time can be so blunt till it's no fun But all in all, time's treated us fine Impressions good and bad Flattering copycats Come digging through our trash Licking our rusty cans Life in the frying pan Problems come in threes And we beat them down It's nothing when compared To the hangovers we've shared Cause rent's on time We got seeds It's a cheap red wine Come on and share my table And pour your heart
We're live here in the KEXP studios with the Growlers. That was a new song from their album, Natural Affair, coming out October 25th. And you played something from your last record, Casual Acquaintances. And since I haven't seen you in the studio in a few years, I was going to ask how you were, but you kind of answered it in that song. All in all, times just treated us fine. Yeah, we're doing all right, you know? Yeah. It has been a really long time. But we're getting good at it. We've always been good at being poor and being on the road, and, uh, but mostly being happy. That's great to hear. You're definitely busy. I mean, you've got legions of fans. You've been doing this for quite a while, close to a decade and a half. Do you think, you know, 13, 14 years ago, you'd be doing this still? No, I never wanted to do it. <laughs> no ambition to be in a band or even travel whatsoever. But Cheer I'm grateful up, for it because now we've been, you know, we've seen the entire world. It's shaped our minds and our hearts to be, you know, who we are now. As you've grown, I mean, what have you learned on the road? You kind of approach things differently. Some of you are a family folk now. Yeah, I think I, I truly notice that when you're around people that haven't and they're very close-minded and you're like, man, because you, you have to go there to see it, even if it's one state away, you know, which is really easy, you know. Being in California is a, a different world than many other states. Being on a college campus is a different world than, you know, outside of the campus. So, yeah, just going over, you know, you're like a... People will tell you what Texas is like until you go there and you get a flat tire and somebody helps you, then then you'll know what that's like. So, Well, your fans absolutely love you, and that's got to feel great wherever you go. You meet different people, and uh, that's, that's got to be a nice relationship. It's, it's a long-going one. Yeah, I think that's probably the only thing that makes you keep doing it. If you don't have that connection, then you're like, why? what's the point? Why am I entertaining and draining myself? And, but, yeah, you get to meet people and see that there's an actual connection, and there's a reason. And you keep making these songs. I know Brooks, you and Matt sort of, you know, create a lot of songs for each record. In fact, uh, Casual Acquaintances was a lot of B-sides and outtakes from your previous album before that. And going into a record, how can you narrow it down when you've got so many songs to choose from? What's the process for that? It's hard. I think it takes a toll on Matt and I's relationship, you know? We need marriage counseling. We're <laughs> so in love with each other, but we have to fight for the children. <laughs> it's usually it's like true. spaghetti at the wall and then <laughs> kind of pick a vibe when it's all done. Kind of go yeah, with it, it's mostly it's been. almost taboo to talk about it. Like it'd be pretty silly if you heard like maybe like oh never mind. Let's yeah. just make songs. And then it kind of does the work for us. I don't know. Well, what do you feel like telling me about the new album that uh, people haven't really heard yet? Anything new that we might um hear there? To me, it really felt like going back to basics, like the way we always did it, like an old Growlers record, just, uh, you know, trying a lot, telling each other to be open-minded and, um, and putting a lot of hours in. And, um, and it just came about real natural, the same way it always has. And if it didn't, I probably wouldn't want to yeah. do it. So at, at natural this, affair. At this point in our career, and we had... We have options to other musicians to work with and better studios to go to and stuff. So that was exciting, you know. I know you worked with Julian Casablancas on your, your album before last, and I imagine you learned something new from each new person, and you bring that back to working exactly, together. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You yeah, kinda, Matt's got a lot of Julian tricks up his sleeve now. Steal the tricks from them. Yeah, you don't need <laughs> Julian anymore. He stole yeah. all his tricks. We still need him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, you have your own label now, Beats Goth Records and Tapes. And uh, what, what, what have you learned so far about having your own label? Uh, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. I mean, it's, I mean, we had to do that because, because we, you know... I've, we've been in this for forever, right? And I didn't. I haven't learned a damn thing about the business. It keeps changing. Um, if anything, we kind of saw a dark side to it. it the, you know, that we always were warned about. There's snakes out there, and and we always done shit ourselves. Even when we, oops, we always done stuff ourselves. Even the, you know, I mean, we had to do it, and so we're doing it. Um, I would like it to be a real label eventually. I'd like to help out bands, but. Um, We'll see. I'd like really... to get some bands in debt, too. Yeah. I'd like you to know, help people get what... broke, poor, debt, and make them work every day of their lives. <laughs> well, you do showcase other bands and give them a platform at the Beef Goth Festival, and yeah. I know that's coming up. You've been doing that quite a year. Is it lucky number seven this year? Is that where you are? Yeah, that's a better gig. It's number eight. That's a better gig. I'd yeah. rather be doing that or be a manager than 
be a boss at a label. So wow. um, that is that is fun. That is growlers. That's you know, and we get to be weird about it and kind of reflect what we like out of it because we play festivals all over the world and they're not exactly cool. If anything, you know, I want a backlash. People should stop going to these things, getting in the cage and drinking Red Bull and. But, but please book us. Yeah. Please, thank you. <laughs> but you're here to tell us that uh, the Beach Festivals. God Festival is very cool. Beach God Festival is the only cool festival. Yeah. It's the only and one. It's worth it, going to. It starts on Halloween, runs three nights. Everybody got their costumes? Working on it. Yeah. Working yeah. on it. Working on it. Yeah. I hope there are going to oh, be. Oh, I'm working on it, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there are going to be lots of They didn't like the last costume I put on them. It wasn't that good. All right, well. We'll see what's coming up this year. Laundry. We're live here in the KEXP studios with the Growlers. And what you got next? This is Natural Affair. This is also from the record, the title track. The title track. Waka, 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 waka. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. let the dog in. All right. That puts us at Natural Affair. Are you saying something, Adam? Excuse me? Waka, waka. <laughs> ready, Natty? Yeah. I'm all ready, ready, already. A family nonetheless traditional With some modern twist unconventional That's a sweeter tasting lie Love is old and wild and will never die Overload from everywhere you turn insatiable Till your love is earned even heavy near That's something that you learn Love is old and wild and will always burn Boys and get away with murder Girls should rule the world, it's true If the world is round, how come it's upside down? I cannot be the only fool She don't care for you. Hey, 
I'm already ready, already, Nettie Waterbury. Sweaty already. Sweaty. Put me in, Sweaty coach. Of something ancient, clock in my time has finished. The same is all replacements. Ignorance is complacency. Why I am purposely faded. No sin, no stain, no stopping. Repeat through your neon prophecies. You gon' let up my ticket stuff. My time is fading fast. Through your mouth and out yours. You do what you say. Say what? Come down. You wash your hands and pray. For what? Shaking hands, rubbing teeth. I'm gonna do what you say. Say what? Judge you, the sweat comes up. Come down. Say what? Till the sun comes up. 
Parting Yelps there, Brooks? No. Yelps, I like that. No Yelps wow. on that. Five-star wow. review. Wow, wow. Love that one. I'll be around. That one's from City Club. What'd you steal from Julian on that one? Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to the steal The computer. <laughs> what did you learn? Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, Beach Goth Halloween happening mm -hmm. October 31st, November 1st and 2nd at the Hollywood Palladium. Can't wait to hear what kind of hijinks you get up to. And thanks so much for coming in. Always so great to see you. Yeah, I had a wonderful time. Us. Thank you. It was a great closing to our 50 shows. This will make it 51, and we are ready to go home and snuggle. Get some good rest. You deserve it. It's the Growlers live on KEXP Seattle. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. Thank you. Discover great music at kexp.org.